In this short video, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step process on how to create a new QuickBooks Online account. Now, if you go to QuickBooks.com, you're going to be offered a 50% discount for three months, which is fine, or a 30-day free trial without any discount. Now, they're going to give you four options of QuickBooks Online, Simple Start, Essentials, Plus, and Advanced. I have other videos that explain with detail what every one of these versions do but you can read through the feature list and see which is the best version for your business. Now, one thing I do recommend if you're gonna create the account at the same time that you're watching this video or right after, I want you to use my affiliate link. It still goes through QuickBooks directly. However, it gives you a very special discount of 30% off for 12 months. And on top of that, you, you still get the 30-day risk-free trial. So it's gonna be better than buying through QuickBooks directly. And the reason for that is because I am one of the top QuickBooks resellers in the world and have access to this special deal. So again, if you have not created an account yet, you're gonna, you're gonna create it from watching this video, definitely use that link. I'll put it down below in the description. And very important, this is for the US only. So only US company files can get this discount. Okay, so you're gonna pick the one that works best for you. Let's say for the example of this video, we're gonna pick uh, QuickBooks Online Plus. We're going to click on try it free and then you're going to go into a login screen. If you put an email that QuickBooks recognizes as an account you have created with within the Intuit ecosystem, whether it's a QuickBooks account, a MailChimp account, a TurboTax account, or one of their old uh, systems that they had like Mint, QuickBooks Money, that sort of thing, it will ask you to recover the password. So let me show you that. So I entered an email that QuickBooks recognizes as, as already having an account with QuickBooks, with Intuit. It doesn't necessarily mean you have a company file, but it means you have an account with them. So if you wanna continue using that email as your login, you have to go through the recovery process. You have to click on recover your account, and then you have to click on continue, get an email, click on the email, follow the instructions, and reset your password. I'm gonna click back for a second and go back into try it for free for plus, and now I'm gonna enter an email that QuickBooks won't recognize that's essentially gonna be a brand new account that QuickBooks is in their system. So after I do that, notice it's green. It doesn't say that you have to recover the password. Then you're gonna put your cell phone number. It needs to be a phone in which you can get text messages with. Then you enter your password and click on one more step. And once the account is created, it's gonna ask you to fill in a whole bunch of information. I'm gonna let you do this on your own and then we'll talk about the next steps. I'll take a quick break here. If you have any questions specific to um, how you're gonna get paid, do you wanna get paid electronic, do you want your invoices to be paid electronically, do you wanna accept credit cards, my recommendation is to hit skip for now and then do that application later. And once your account is set up, your screen will look like this. You will see a left navigation bar that can be collapsed, a new button where all the transactions that you can create in QuickBooks Online can be created from the new button. You're gonna see menus with submenus where you can access all the areas inside QuickBooks Online. If you go into the right-hand side on the gear button, you're gonna see all of the settings, anything that you're gonna set up, your list, your chart of accounts, your uh, account settings, all that stuff is gonna be on that gear button on the right-hand side. Once you enter transactions, you're gonna have a search button you can press, it'll be a little search bar at the top or a magnifying glass. And that's really it. Now, the most important thing you gotta keep in mind is on the gear button on the right-hand side, we're gonna click on subscription and billing. And this is where your company ID is. If you call support or you have to do anything having to do with your account, you need that company ID information. So now you know where to get it. Here where you see QuickBooks Plus, that's gonna be the version of QuickBooks that you're in. It's gonna tell you if you have a free trial, when the free trial ends, you're gonna see the current pricing that you have. If you hover over it, you should be able to see what discount code you're set up under. So if you used my link, you should be under that 30% for 12 months. You can downgrade. So if you wanna go down from plus to essentials to simple start, you can do that. If you wanna go, if you wanna upgrade, you can go up to essentials plus or advanced, whichever edition you wanna use, pretty simple. And then you can cancel your trial or subscription right there and then. Once you're ready to subscribe within the 30 days of the free trial, you click on subscribe and then you go put your credit card number. Couple really important things. There's some additional services such as QuickBooks Online Payments. That's an application you have to fill out to be able to receive 
payments via credit card or ACH when you invoice your clients. That's going to be very valuable. One thing I do recommend is if you have a brand new account and you have not activated payments, email me. I'll put the email somewhere in the bottom here. Uh, email me and I'll get you with a person, a QuickBooks, that can get you a slightly better price. Not, not, not a lot. So if they're offering 3.5, you probably get 3.4 if you set it up with us. But that stuff adds up over time. You know, that percentage of the credit card fees that you pay, that can add, add up over time. And also, if you want to have a payroll, the same thing. If you have an activated payroll, email me and I'll have somebody give you the same 30% discount for 12 months of payroll, whether you have a brand new account or you have an, an existing account. So that really is it. That's really all you need to know. One thing I want to keep, uh, you want to keep in mind is in the description section of the video, I have all of my playlist videos for QuickBooks Online. Anything else you want to learn afterwards, chart of accounts, reports, entering opening balances, banking, all that stuff is going to be in there. Make sure you check that out. Those are going to be the perfect, you know, video two, video three, video four that you can watch in sequence, including a playlist. So all the links that I've, uh, that I mentioned, uh, all of the videos that you should watch after this one, they're going to be down there in the description. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you want to see other videos like this, I'll see you on the next one.